Hello, all. welcome to Sivan's SAP SD training and thanks for watching all the videos and thank, thanks for your valuable comments on my videos. So today I'm going to discuss about the condition update concept in the pricing procedure. So the condition update concept, which is a very, very uh, important concept, especially for the newly launched uh, products. So that uh, condition update means restricting the discount pricing condition records up to a certain value or certain quantity or to a certain number of orders. So that means we can restrict that particular discount to some, 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 some extent, some value that we are going to see in the system. So this concept, condition update concept is mostly used while launching a new product, especially while giving introductory bonus offers or discounts. Example, a material discount, customer discount, and customer material discounts, like uh, our standard condition types, K004, K005, and K007. Here, in the pricing condition record, we will set the maximum limit in condition base value or condition value or in number of orders section in the pricing condition record of the, um, whatever the condition which we wanted to give this discount, like customer discount or material discount or customer material discount. Out of three, these three, we will choose one condition type and then we will uh, see what happens in SAP system. So this condition update is very, very important uh, during the uh, interview sessions wherever we enter, uh, attend. So during that time, it will be very useful for you all to explain in a simple way. That is, the first question itself is, what is the condition update? What is the significance of the condition update field in the pricing condition type. So you have to explain the interviewer that the system restricts the condition record up to a certain quantity or up to a certain value, whatever we specify over there, maximum discount value or maximum condition value and maximum number of orders. That means it is like a quantity based restriction and value based restriction and order based restrictions. So I'll go to V slash 06 and this is the pricing condition type screen and I'm giving my own pricing condition type and the standard pricing condition type for the discount is K004. So here the material discount, here the option is already checked. This box should be checked. Otherwise, if this option is not checked, then the system will not determine the condition update for this particular condition type when you create a sales order. So be careful that we have to choose this option. Normally, it will not be there. Suppose the business requirement is to update this, uh, to have this functionality where we are launching a new product. We wanted to have this maximum value to be restricted or maximum quantity to be restricted or maximum number of orders per a customer to be restricted. Then, then what is the solution? Then we have to tell the business that there is an option called condition update in the discount pricing condition that is K004 material discount so that the system will automatically propose the maximum condition value, whatever, if it is exceeded also, the system will not give the amount more than that one, whatever the amount has been specified in that particular pricing condition record. So hence we have to check this box, a condition update and save it. This is the first step. The second step, we have to create the condition record. So I have already created it. So I'm going to the change mode of this pricing condition record. My pricing condition type I have taken is K004 and then press enter here. My sales organization ZMC1 and ZN. My material is MCRX, MCRMX1001. Just click on execute. Here you can see for each piece, I am offering the customer 1000 rupees discount. And the validity periods also have selected from the current date, the system state, and the validity two is also, it is 3112. I wanted to restrict it to 3112-2022. So you can do this validity period change also. There won't be any issues. And we were talking about the how the system controls maximum discount value or maximum condition value, or maximum order quantity. So select this line item, go to this additional data screen. Here, 
the system has proposed maximum condition value there are three options limits for pricing here you can see this uh, under this section limits for pricing maximum condition value that means maximum discount which we can offer to the customer and maximum number of orders that means we can restrict only three so if you select the options also you can see from 0 1 to 0 3 that means you wanted to restrict for only one order then yes so this option you all will be knowing it whenever any new product launch in the e-commerce portals any mobiles for that matter so when the time starts so like um, the next uh, next availability of this particular mobile phone launch is at 23rd april 12 12 noon so when you start logging into uh, the system for that particular online portal so you will be able to enter only one quantity because it is restricted based on this value based on this condition type so here is the control where we can control number of orders in normal days so apart from those uh, uh, launch days in normal days you can purchase three three uh, three mobiles or four four quantity or five quantity whatever it is your desired quantity can be purchased there whereas during the launch initial launch days the system or that means the business controls the customer that means it has to reach the more number of customers as if one customer will be there if he purchases 10 then it will not reach the 10 people it will be there with the one person only hence the business has given this control that is number of orders will be restricted here number 01 to 03 here and this is maximum condition base value so if it is that is quantity based restriction this is value based restriction order based restriction and quantity uh, quantity based restriction first i am going to give this here maximum condition value 5000 rupees it is it is always minus just give this value and then press enter save it and then i'll just keep it as it is here and then i'll go to this additional data screen it let it be open here now what i am going to do i am going to create my uh, sales order so that's so for va01 So I'm just entering the customer details, my material and quantity I'm giving five. So what prices we have selected here? Five means um, the condition price should be uh, each piece thousand rupees in this discount K004 material discount. So that means five into thousand, five thousand rupees discount has to come. And what is the material cost? The material cost is 5,000 rupees. So per unit is 5,000 rupees. I'm just press entering. Here, five into five, 25,000, it should propose the net value. Whereas the discount we have offered is 5,000 rupees. So if you go to the conditions tab of the line item, you can see here K004 material determination, that is a discount pricing condition type has been determined into the sales order. That is 5,000 rupees. You can see the condition value 5,000 rupees. This uh, condition value of the base price is 25,000 minus 5,000, it is 20,000 rupees. So the net value is 20,000 rupees. In this scenario, I wanted to increase the quantity. We will see what happens. 10 I am giving. See, the, the line item cost per unit is 5,000 rupees here. So I have taken the quantity as 10, 10 into 5, 50,000 rupees. But however, the system has given only the maximum discount up to 5,000 only because of the restriction of the maximum condition value here, which we have selected. See the maximum condition value is 5,000. Hence the system also given only 5,000 rupees here though you can increase the quantity whether it is 10 or 20 50 100 also but the maximum discount would remain only 5000 rupees it won't go beyond that so if at all it, it has to go beyond that then you have to increase the value here so that the, this the system will allow the user to enter or uh, increase the value if it is not maintained here if it is not increased over here 
the system will not allow you to increase the value here so this is the scenario one that is value based restriction number two now i am going to i am just deleting this i am going to the maximum condition base value so i am giving around 10 each that means 10 into 1000 that is 10000 rupees discount suppose if a customer places a order of a maximum 10 quantity he will be receiving 10000 rupees so let us see i am saving it and i will just go back here and i am going to create the sales order again the second scenario so in this case what happens we are going to see now i am entering 10 see 40000 so that means the system has granted the discount of 10000 rupees for this particular um, material because based on the quantity this is quantity based restriction scenario scenario 2 so here 1000 per unit into 10 10000 rupees the total price of the quantity is 50000 rupees and 50000 minus 10000 the value is 40000 rupees now what i am going to do i am i wanted to increase the quantity i wanted to increase the quantity i am increasing 15 but still only 10000 is the discount because we have restricted the base quantity is 10 only so hence it has given only 10 units 10000 rupees so it's 75000 that is 15 into 5 75000 minus 10 if it is quantity into discount 15000 should come and then 75000 minus 15000 it will be around 60000 rupees however the restriction we have made it here as the quantity we have restricted here for only up to 10 10 units the, the system should grant the system should give the discount of 10000 rupees each so 10 into 1000 10000 rupees hence here also the, the system has determined the value 10000 rupees even though the quantity has been increased even if at all you wanted to increase the quantity to up to 100 also it won't go only the system says that see 1 lakh minus 10000 it is 90000 rupees that is like only 10000 you can see here can this is the value which the system has uh, determined because of the condition record which we have maintained this is the quantity based restriction see this uh, you can uh, you might have observed here quantity based as well as qua, uh, value based more or less similar only which are very close to each other so in either way you can do that so the value may differ but however the scenario looks like a similar one now the third scenario we are going to see with the order quantity number of orders so i will restrict this to uh, two orders i'm going to i have given here maximum number of orders the system should allow us is two only and i'm saving it now i'll just go back and create i have not saved it now i'll save this order i'll create this order in this order i'm going to give one line item one quantity i have given see one quantity easily you can uh, identify the discount amount is thousand rupees and the, the net price is five thousand minus thousand it is going to be four thousand rupees so very easily you can easily identify it so this we have given one order now i am saving it now one order has been created that is two zero five four nine and another order i am creating here i am giving the quantity as 3 so 12000 it is 3 into 5 15000 it should be because the discount amount is 1000 rupees so 15000 minus 3000 the quantity the net value is 12000 rupees very simple so the discount amount has been deducted from the total value i am saving it 
so two zero double five zero. And again, I'm going to I, I'm creating one more order. Let us see what happens whether the system proposes the K zero zero four or not. The material discount. So it is stored in the database level. So again, that is why the system is giving the, again the discount. So normally, it should be restricted, but however, we will see what happens. And we are going to the display mode of the sales order. Go to the line item. So condition: it should not be. Uh, we have selected the quantity as. Three or two, so two orders only. It should be uh, like it should restrict to only two orders. It should not be. Uh, it should not allow us to create one more order because it is updating the database, and then sometimes you no, know, it will not uh, stop. Uh, it will not stop the restriction of that particular one sometimes, but it will normally in the standard system and real time system it will allow, and then it will be restricted to this particular number of orders after the third or fourth order. The system will not allow you to have the discount of that K zero zero four. So I will show you that example also here. See, we have to first these are all the prerequisites which we have to do in the system. We have to go to the pricing procedure and then we have to choose the option condition update and maintain the condition record in the transaction VK eleven for this particular condition type and the choose and this line item we have to choose and then select these three options. Any one of them, like the value-based restriction, or maximum number of orders restriction, or maximum condition-based value restriction. Any three, any one of them at a time we can choose. So this is the example which I have, I have taken here and I have shown you. The material price five thousand and K zero zero four discount is thousand rupees. To uh, to understand very easily, I have taken the round figures. So value-based restrictions I have created first value. I have given maximum value as five thousand rupees. So in this scenario, the system has granted only five thousand rupees, nothing more than that. If you are, the, if the order quantity is ten, and the system gives only five thousand rupees, if it is five hundred rupees as a discount, or if it is thousand rupees as a discount, also only five thousand rupees. So uh, it should be normally if there is no restriction here, the system should grant the ten thousand rupees discount. This is the value based discount, and then we have seen the second scenario, quantity based restriction of the. K zero zero four condition record that also we have seen the maximum condition base value that is five each even for five into thousand five thousand only it will come even if you increase the quantity the discount value will not be increased that that remains same and similar to maximum condition value this is the one which is very very important we are restricting this is the scenario which uh, the online e-commerce portals will use whenever they launch a new product. they wanted to restrict one piece per person so at that time number of orders based for this particular material is three orders if you select three then you can the system gives uh, three sales orders uh, this discount this will be proposed and this will be given to the customer after the fourth on order onwards the system will not propose the k004 condition type in the sales order so this is all about the pricing condition update thank you all Thank you. Thanks for watching Sivan's SABSB Training YouTube channel.